The one thing that I really enjoy about Overwatch is the tools that it has available in order for you to improve. This was honestly, in my opinion, one of the best features that Fortnite has and probably still does have. With their creative mode, people were able to practice many different scenarios and able to get a lot more training in in a controlled environment. In Overwatch, you have the ability to do the same thing and that's through their custom games. There are tons of incredible game modes in here and a bunch of really fun ones too that you can do if you're ever bored. But if you want to improve, here are four workshop codes that I think you should be doing. If you find any of this information helpful or you enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like on it. But I don't want to waste any more of your time so let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So since this will be the only custom game that is directly geared towards support players, let's go ahead and start off with this one. If you are an honor player and you want to get better at using your sleep dart, this is the scenario for you. In this game mode, your sleep dart will have no cooldown so you can practice your accuracy as much as you need. But the goal is to try to hit Genji with your sleep dart, which will count as an elimination. But if you do it in game, obviously it's going to sleep them. Genji is going to pop blade and you're going to try to hit him out of the air. What's great about this is it's going to get you used to actually hitting Genji during his blade but furthermore it will increase your accuracy for hitting your sleep dart while also increasing your reaction time for doing this as well the sleep dart is honestly one of the best parts about honest kit and really can change the tide of a fight it's very likely that with you and your game with this newly found practice they are not going to get that off for this next scenario this is one that i honestly do pretty much every day that i get on i like to first hit kovacs and then hop right into this custom map I really just like to use this to warm up my aim and to get used to the heroes that I'll probably be using throughout the day. If this map looks familiar, it's because it's one that I have covered in a previous video. But for any of you who haven't seen that one, in this game mode, you'll go up against a variety of different targets, all of which that you would see in a regular game. You can change their strafing difficulty all the way from very easy to hard. You can give them a speed boost. You can even test out what it would be like to have a damage boost as well. But getting used to hitting various different heroes while also using various different heroes can greatly improve your aim. Personally, for me, I like to go for getting 100 eliminations on each hero that I think I'll be using or basically just until I feel warmed up. For this next one, this is basically going to be the upgraded version of the previous map. This doesn't mean that you need to do the previous one first, but this one is a little bit more difficult. And while it may be more difficult, it does also have many more options to go through. Tracer is honestly the hardest hero to 1v1 and that's the first scenario that you can go through. Especially since Tracer currently has a range bug. Like right now she's not getting a proper damage fall off. It's supposed to fall off a lot sooner and now it's actually falling off at 20 meters. Add that to the fact that Genji and Sombra have gotten nerfed. You're going to see a lot more Tracer now. One that I really like doing is to come over here towards this Lucio. In this one, Lucio will move around, but he will stay within this 4x4. But because of the walls nearby, he'll try to focus on using his mobility to wall run and wall bounce to avoid being hit. This can be really beneficial for getting your tracking down while hitting a Lucio, especially since Lucio has been seeing a lot more plays since the Overwatch League. You can also practice hitting a Farah, just like you could in the previous scenario. Up here, you can go up against this Reinhardt, and you're going to try to focus on trying to stop his shatter or protecting your team from his shatter. So you can pick a hero like Reinhardt or Kiriko and practice getting your cleanse. Overall, there's a bunch of different scenarios in here and I suggest that you try them all. So now that you've improved your aim, let's go over a map that you can use to not only get better at fighting, but also learn to use other heroes in the process. In this 1v1 map, you will load in against someone else. You can either do this against a friend or join up randomly. But the way this 1v1 works is it's basically the first to 50, and each time you get an elimination, you'll change heroes. What's really good about this is not only will you already have better aim since you've been using the other trainers, you're now going to know how to use a wide variety of different heroes or how to go up against a wide variety of different heroes. This is something that me and one of my friends have been doing recently, and it's really fun to do, honestly. You will find some matchups that are going to be pretty unfair so you're going to have to try to figure out a way to win the fight even though you're at a disadvantage but there are four workshop codes that you should be using if you want to improve the biggest part about this is realizing that change does not happen immediately. While some things can simply just be a game sense thing where you're just not having good crosshair placement or you're becoming more aware of simply how you're aiming, in general, your overall aim won't improve overnight. What I would suggest is taking about 15 minutes before you get into a game and just load up some custom games to warm up. If ranked has got you on tilt, instead of getting off, maybe try going into the custom game modes and just practicing. And lastly, if you have a really long queue times, it would also be really beneficial to use this in your off time. But if any of this information help you out please leave a like on the video and if you want to see more overwatch content hit that sub button and i'll see you guys in the next video